day. This time of the year we hear a lot about keeping New Year's resolutions, so I thought it'd be interesting to find out some of the history and share it with you, as well as my views on New Year's resolution making. So what characterises a New Year's resolution? Firstly, it's a commitment that a person makes to one or more personal goals, objectives or reaffirming of habits. Secondly, and perhaps blind in the obvious, a key element of New Year's resolutions that differentiates it from other commitments is its um, relation to a new year, a new beginning. And thirdly, people generally make a New Year's resolution for the whole of the following year. So how long have people been making New Year's resolutions, what we can consider as New Year's resolutions? In the ancient times, making resolutions had religious connotations. The ancient Babylonians made promises at the beginning of each year to their gods that they would um, return things they had borrowed and repay their debts. Sounds pretty good to me. The Romans at the start of each year made promises to the god Janus, which uh, the name of January is named after. And actually, um, apparently in the medieval times, the knights took uh, up something called a uh, um, uh, peacock vow at the beginning of each year after the Christmas season to reaffirm their commitment to chivalry. So perhaps there's something in that for us men. The nature of New Year's resolutions has changed over the last decades, becoming more superficial and more um, appearance orientated than in past decades. Apparently at the end of the 19th century, a teenage girl, should she make New Year's resolution, resolutions, would focus on good works. She resolved to become a better character, more helpful, more diligent worker. I know from personal experience that at the beginning of 2011, a typical teenage girl's resolutions are much more materialistically orientated and to do with their self-image. Some interesting facts that, I, although I'm not quite clear on their source, are that at the <coughs> end of the Great Depression, about a quarter of adult Americans form New Year's resolutions. At the beginning of the 21st century, about 40% did. A 2007 study by the University of Bristol, uh, with about 3,000 people involved, showed that 88% of the people who made New Year's resolutions failed, despite the fact that 52% of them started co with confidence that they would achieve their New Year's resolution. Men achieve their goals 22% more often if they engage in goal setting, while women succeed 10% more if they share their goals with friends and get them to help. So what are my views on resolution making? Personally, I think New Year's resolutions set at 10 to 12 on the 31st of December are, as discussed earlier, prone to failure. To me, resolutions uh, like that are just too woolly. People should give more thought to how they set their objectives. In this context, I believe objectives should, uh, should be, objective setting should be holistic. And I'll come back to explain what I mean by that in a moment. Also, objectives should be SMART, the acronym S-M-A-R-T, being specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-scaled. Taking the T in time-scale is important because then you can set a, a closure to an objective rather than just a, a woolly year and perhaps then move on to a seemingly unrelated objective to pursue. So you do something by, say, June or something? Yeah, indeed. 
So what do I mean by holistic? Are you looking at the whole rather than the individual parts? I'm a great believer in something called the wheel of life and I've drawn a pretty poor picture of it on here. The wheel has eight dimensions. You can pick up some of them, family and friends, health, physical environment, personal development. And the general idea is you set long-term aspirations and then if, at a period less than a year, say every three months, you review how you're doing against the long-term aspirations and then and measure it against also maintaining a good current lifestyle on a scale of 0 to 10. And instead of setting woolly objectives, you look at developing a, 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 a picture in the middle that fits with your immediate need, the shape. So for instance, if you've got elderly relatives, family and friends may be a current importance to you. So you focus in this quadrant. Whilst I've not mastered the tool, I think it's a very useful application and I commend the model to you. So, in spite of my views on what I've just said about resolution, New Year's resolution making, there's one resolution I'd like to share with you. And that, of course, is to improve my Toastmastering skills. Thank you very much for listening.